Look at that. Holy moly. Did y'all see that? I had a video request to check the upload speeds when using an Invisigig on the 4x4 signal brick. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick test. Invisigig sitting in here behind this door inside of our building. I'm just going to run a speed test. I've got, I've got a screen capture so you could watch that. We're going to run a speed test and you'll see here, if you look at our screen, we've got pretty pretty terrible signal we're in we're indoors you can see this metal building big metal door and all that other stuff uh this is t-mobile t-mobile doesn't have the strongest signal here so it's perfect to test this with but we're going to test this we don't want to run our speed test while we're running our signal metrics because it runs the uh, processor too hard but we'll run a t-mobile speed test and see what kind of uploads we get this is on uh, 66 aggregating with two channels of 41 on the invisigig 26 millisecond ping, 118, 120 down. And then on the up, 125, that's actually a lot better than I expected it to be, to be honest, especially with those signal metrics. Uh, and 1.8 up. It's pretty terrible. So band 66, uh, 41 and 41. We're running 125 down and two up on T-Mobile. That is horrendous. And I'm going to guess it's because of the signal strength. Uh, it just can't, it can't reach out to the tower very well. So it's dropping a lot of packets or something. Uh, I'm going to run it one more time and then we'll see what kind of changes we can get by adding the four by four signal brick to increase those upload speeds. Now we could optimize a little bit the bands. Band 41 is not really, uh oh, looks like we almost lost our connection there. Uh, band 41 is not really optimized for upload speeds. So we could do some things by changing what bands were attached to, but we're going to do an apples to apples comparison. So staying on the same bands, just changing the antenna from the stock antennas here, which by the way, we're connected to a little router and then directly to our laptop. So all we're doing is we're testing these stock antennas against the four by four signal brick. You're going to get some benefit with just having an antenna outdoors versus behind metal here, but you know, we're just doing a comparison as what you would have it sitting inside the wherever you are versus the four by four signal break omnidirectional. Four by four omnidirectional to four by four omnidirectional. This one again, uh, 105 down, 5.48 up. And then we'll check our signal metrics again. Live signal shows. Yeah, terrible. Still on 66 and two bands of 41. All right. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to set the phone down. And I'm going to actually attach to the 4x4 MIMO Omni signal break. And it's just hanging here underneath this uh, blaster antenna. I've just got it sitting here hanging upside down. So upside down, outside, run indoors on some connectors with adapters too. So we're getting a little bit of signal loss on adapters. I'm going to hook that up right now. Hey. All right. So <laughs> I may have broke some stuff. So I had to take a minute to reset it up. So again, four by four signal brick and some busted cables hooked up now to the Invisigig. And if you look at our signal page, the signal is better for sure. We are definitely doing better. All right. So now let's run a speed test on the Invisigig hooked up out there to the 4x4 signal brick. 25 millisecond ping, 100, 100. Again, this is on 66 on the LTE and two bands of 41. We could optimize it for possibly better upload bands, but we're just testing this as it is. 150 down this time and eight, nine, 10 up. Better, about two to three times the upload speed there. What were we getting before? So the last speed test was 1.71 up and then we got 5.48. 124 down, 105 up. This time we got 150 down and 8.63 up. So we got about double our upload speed. 
Uh, our signal metrics, none of them are really in red there. So let's see what we can, it's going to cancel out on me, apparently. Let's make sure we're still actually attached. Yep, same bands. Let's see if I can actually keep it on the screen this time. Uh, all right. Speed test. Twenty-seven millisecond ping. Jumps right up to. Goes up to a higher speed, a lot quicker with the signal brick antenna hooked up. So I'm on my same t cell towers, same bands, getting consistently better download. Yeah, it looks like I'm getting pretty close to relatively the same upload. So we'll see. Maybe we'll run a couple speed tests to see if we can get something better. About 160 down. That's pretty good. There we go. Jumped up to 10 or 11. So yeah, I mean, we've, we've doubled our upload speed. Again, we're not optimizing the bands for upload. We could play with the bands and try to get better upload. But we want an apples to apples comparison. Indoors, terrible signal. Outdoors, much better signal. Much cleaner signal for sure. Signal to noise ratio is better. Signal quality is better. And our signal power is improved. It's an omnidirectional antenna. You're not going to get a ton of signal gain out of an omnidirectional antenna, with the exception of the fact that instead of it being here behind a wall, it's out there, out there. And, it, you know, obviously, if we had it up higher in the air, it would probably do a lot better for us. Um, so just being out there makes it uh, definitely an improvement. And I'm not even, I'm, I'm using adapters, all kinds of stuff. I'm using LMR 200 cabling. So it could be a better setup overall. But, I mean, just look at the speed tests. We go a few of them over and over again. Um, but effectively, we're getting double our upload speeds just by going to the 4x4 MIMO signal brick antennas versus the indoor omnidirectional antennas. Yeah, it's consistently getting better download speeds for sure. Band 41 is just not known for upload speed. Period. It's not made for it. Look at that. Look at that. Holy moly. Did y'all see that? That was crazy. That jumped up to like 100 and something up. 140 up. But look at that. That is insane. So 33 up, 145 down. Way better. 4x4 four four signal break antenna, not even set up properly, versus indoor, much better using the 4x4 four four signal break versus indoor omnidirectional antennas. Tested on the Invisigig. Good setup.